guys being a lot more respectful <laughs> compared to that one last time. Alright, we have some air boats as our backdrop. What a surprise. Excuse me, little dog. Hi, guys. It is a lovely but possibly soon to be rainy night here in the end times in paradise in the Point Lonesome Swamp in the Oasis of Freedom. It is now Sunday evening, January 2nd. 2022 so guys I am heading off tomorrow morning I will be gone for a week I don't know what the internet situation or whatever so I'm not sure how many uh, how many more rants I'm gonna get through so uh, I'm just gonna knock this one out tonight so here is what I have decided unsurprisingly about my New Year's resolution uh, involving the corona panic in the year 2022 okay i have reached a compromise here on humpty dumpty tribe that i will not mention corona panic six days a week so what i'm going to do is on monday is going to be my corona panic roundup round we're going to call it the corona panic chronicles will resume starting well you'll be listening to this today so every monday i want you to listen to this every monday until i decide not to or until my channel gets yanked off of the uh off of youtube for spreading medical misinformation by sharing articles in the mainstream media i will be doing a corona panic roundup so if you don't want to hear another fucking word about this bad hair day, about the single biggest distraction in the history of humanity, do not tune in to Humpty Dumpty Tribe on Monday. You will be totally safe Tuesday through Sunday. No mention of this C word but uh, I, I, I've, I've just had it up to fucking here with this shit. It is time to uh, anybody trying to flatten the cur the panic, the the uh, panicked sheeple curve. Uh, I'm going to do my little bitty part again. Uh, I'm going to recommend Chris Martinson's channel, YouTube channel, for some serious reporting about corona panic uh, you need to go if you want to learn the truth about the corona panic listen to Chris Martinson he can get away with shit over there that I can't so what I'm gonna try to do is uh, I already have one strike uh, and so I'm hoping that if it's in the mainstream media, that it's okay by YouTube. That if it's if it if I pull it out of the out of the fucking mainstream media, so not I, I'm not going to be going over to these goddamn right wing. Uh, you know, you're not going to be hearing this Alex Jones unadulterated fucking horse shit. A, 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 about corona panic so there's a lot of information I'm not going to be able to share some intelligent uh, information you can find that over on a, on a Chris Martinson's channel Peak Prosp I think he still calls his channel Peak Prosperity <coughs> <coughs> damn <coughs> a mosquito just flew down my throat <coughs> so what I'm gonna do every week I'm gonna go through the mainstream media okay and you can decide <coughs> what that means I really wanted to start today with a uh, with an email from alert <coughs> and intelligent tribes member 
Kevin Shanholzer, and by the way, Brother Kevin, I really, really, really appreciate the kind donation to this channel. Uh, I wanted to read an email from Kevin Shanholzer, but if I read <coughs> Kevin's email, this video would be pulled down and I might lose my channel, so I cannot l read Kevin Shanholzer's uh, I email to me, uh, but I do want to say <clears throat> that Kevin Shanholzer despises, as far as I know, despises the ground Donald Trump walks on. Alright, so anyway, since I can't read what I want to read, let's see what is the mainstream media has to say about the corona panic this week for people if they read it on the mainstream media it's got to be true all right and this was my uh, probably my favorite article from business insider on today's mainstream media many people hospitalized this is actually dated friday many people hospitalized in the omicron surge are there for other reasons. Hmm, very interesting. Uh, <clears throat> and even experts, including, including Dr. Anthony Fauci, have also pointed to this phenomenon in the U.S. Take it away, Business Insider. A significant proportion of people hospitalized with COVID-19 in recent weeks, you know, due to this Omicron bullshit, were admitted for other reasons, according to health officials and government data. Huh. The exact, <coughs> the exact scale of the phenomenon in the U.S. is not recorded in federal statistics. Wow, but has been noted anecdotally uh -huh. uh, and Dr. Anthony Fauci, yes, described the phenomenon specifically in children. Better believe I uh, think in children. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> this is St. Anthony talking about since all hospital admissions are tested for corona panic, Fauci said many are, quote, hospitalized with COVID as opposed to because of COVID, close quote. The real reason for hospitalization might be according to St. Anthony Fauci, quote, a broken leg or appendicitis or something like that. Wow. Imagine that. Uh, Julie Zalsmer Wheel, a Washington Post reporter, said that a similar thing can happen with adults. Citing an unnamed D.C. area health official, Whale wrote that people with mild COVID who test positive are still counted in the headline hospitalization stats. Other countries have produced data noting the same phenomenon of, quote, incidental COVID cases and data published Friday by the UK National Health Services, 33% of the 8,321 COVID positive cases in England on December 28th were admitted to the hospital for a different reason. Thank you very much, and I can't extrapolate to uh, the, the obvious extrapolation, jumping the shark, to the people dying in the hospitals, dying of COVID 
or with COVID. People who do not understand the difference between the prepositions of and with need to take a basic English course. Uh, so what this is saying, uh, obviously, is that if, if, you're, if you're failing to understand plain English, what it's saying is that a shitload of people uh, in the going to the hospital have no fucking idea they have corona panic. But every person now who goes into the fucking hospital for any reason, a broken leg, appendicitis, whatever the hell it is, they get tested for COVID. And if they test positive, it shows up in these unadulterated horseshit hospitalization rates. So if you see like a, you know, here 8,300 people in this one study, you would be led to believe by this bullshit that 8,300 people were so sick with corona panic, this, particularly this Omicron surge, that that is what they went to the fucking hospital for. They didn't know they had corona panic. You know, as I was reporting in this first one of these roundups uh, last week, you know, of course, there's one study claiming 40% of people. Uh, I, I think that number is low. Uh, anyway, I think we get it. Moving on, now this one was really uh, interesting because this morning, this, this story with the same link from Reuters News had a completely different headline and a completely different beginning of the story. So I flagged the story and uh, went back on the same link and the editors of Yahoo News uh, or Reuters or whoever, well this is Yahoo on the headline, went back in and rewrote the headline. The original headline had the words herd immunity in it, talking about that so many people in Israel, I was particularly looking at Israel, is that so many people uh, in Israel uh, have gotten this damn Omicron that it is loose, it is tearing across Israel and the rest of the planet. Every fucking person on this planet is going to get Omicron. Okay? You're going to get it. I'm going to get it. We're all going to get it. At least 40% of us are never going to know we had the fucking Omicron. And so what they were talking about is that Omicron could be leading to herd immunity. Then you open up the thing and the words, uh, the, 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 the words herd immunity have been taken out of the headline and the headline now reads Israel to offer fourth corona panic vaccine shot to over 60s and so it just starts all about this shit that was nowhere in, in the earlier version of this story. And then in the middle of the story, it makes this lurch. Uh, you can tell where they copied and pasted and moved the story around as somebody's head was rolling uh, on Sunday, January 2nd. And they, and, and, and they, and they, and they tried to rewrite the story Earlier, the health, Israel's health ministry's di director general, Nachem Ash, said Israel could reach herd immunity as Omicron infections mounted. And in addition, with this um, antiviral pill uh, it is being uh, brought in, herd immunity is the point at which a population is protected from a virus. Yes, uh, blah, 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 good three cheers for the Omicron. All right, this next story, I'm, th this is just the order they came out. I should have organized this a little better. 
right here in the oasis of freedom. I, guys, th this might be my single favorite Corona panic story of all times. This is right here from Tampa, Florida, about uh, an hour and 10 minutes from where I'm sitting. So New Year's Eve, uh, you know, Friday, December 31st might have been the hottest New Year's Eve in Tampa history. I think it was like 86 degrees on December 31st uh, in Tampa. So <laughs> I absolutely like, I can't make this shit up. This is too beautiful from the Tampa Bay Times. Three collapse, three people collapse at Tampa Corona Panic testing site. There you go. Three people fainted Friday morning and two additional people <laughs> required minor medical attention while waiting to get tested for Corona Panic at a testing site in Tampa. Uh, quote, the parking lot was at capacity before the site even opened this morning at 7. There were hundreds of people uh, in line waiting to get in. Uh, anyway, you have to love it. Now, guys, I admit I am, I, I am glad that none of these five clueless panic sheeple. So apparently, these these three or five people who needed medical attention, passing out from heat stroke in the damn parking lot. Uh, that, it sounds to me like they weren't even sick. They were going to get tested to find out if they had. Uh, the Omicron, and, and, and apparently, they, uh, as far as I can tell, they, they weren't there because they thought they were anyway, and uh, five of them, uh, you, you know, uh, getting ready to die of heat stroke, waiting to get a corona panic test. I honestly did not think there were that many clueless moron panic sheeple in the Oasis of Freedom, but, uh, I am embarrassed to say, so uh, let's try not to get heat stroke while getting a corona panic test. Okay, uh, from the good old Guardian, this one going in with that first story, I, I love it. I, I absolutely love this one. Uh, from the Guardian, U.S. experts question whether counting corona panic cases is still the right approach. This is another thing on the, you know, that everybody is going to get this thing. Some U.S. infectious disease experts and public health officials are questioning whether to continue using the number of coronavirus cases you know, the total number of, you know, quote, positive tests using the number of coronavirus cases as a metric for determining which met mitigation efforts are appropriate. As data suggest, Omicron is less severe but much more contagious than previous variants. You know, can you say herd immunity? Those experts argue that the U.S. has reached a stage in the pandemic where reports of dramatic surges in case, case counts prompt unnecessary worries. Can you say a panic? We have reached a stage in the pandemic where reports of dra dramatic surges in case counts prompt unnecessary worries, which is why you have people fainting from the heat, risking heat stroke to go get a, uh, a, 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 a test for a virus they don't even think they have. Yes. And that government officials and the public should instead review death 
and hospitalization data when considering precautions. Now, of course, this story does not talk about the bullshit hospitalization data. I'm not going to sit here and, and, and even suggest, even suggest that the death data, uh, but, but anyway, we just had a story that this hospitalization data is fucking bullshit. It's overblown by at least a third. So what you have to do when considering precautions and wondering how you should be reacting uh, to this and uh, you need to get the full story. But uh, all, all of this shit, if they just keep talking, uh, 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 you know, the, this fear-mongering bullshit, uh, you know, that everybody has this shit. All right. This is Dr. Monica Gandhi, a, an infectious disease specialist, professor of medicine at University of California in San Francisco, said case counts, you know, just the total number of people uh, testing positive case counts, quote, are causing a lot of panic and fear, but they do not reflect what they used to, which was that hospitalizations would track with cases. Yes. Um... All right, so on Thursday, the, U the U.S. had more than 580,000 new COVID cases. The second time this week that the country has broken its record for daily COVID cases, according to the New York Times. But over the past two weeks, while the number of COVID cases has increased by 181%. The number of hospitalizations has increased by only 19%. And of course, remember that 19% is uh, that statistic of that 19% includes all of those people who were hospitalized it would, uh, for like broken legs and appendicitis, okay? So you got to take that, that the number of hospitalizations has increased by only 19%, and the number of deaths, the number of deaths has decreased by 5%. Yes, Gandhi said that in reporting data on corona panic, health departments should now take the same approach as they do with influenza. That means releasing hospitalization, bullshit, hospitalization data and death data, but not numbers concerning case counts because, like with the flu, it is not possible to eliminate the virus. Therefore, we should only focus on its severity, she said. Amen. Dr. Gandhi but we're just going to uh, this, this. We're going to go over to the Telegraph in London to wrap up. This is some letters to the editor. Looking at people saying we must soon learn to live with the risk of COVID and put an end to debilitating fear. And. Uh, this is a letter to the editor from, uh, what is this woman's name, uh, Hillary Murray. I'm not going to read 
Um, is there ever going to be a time when COVID is treated in the same way as other virus infections? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, moving through a letter. There must surely come a time when testing for corona panic ceases and we accept the risk of infection. I am a retired GP, meaning a retired, you know, general practitioner, medical doctor. In the past, we all carried on working while suffering from colds and coughs. I can only remember taking time off once when I had genuine flu. Now, symptomless people are forced to take time off work because they test positive. There appears to be a mania for testing resulting in fear of death, illness, infecting others, social disapprobation. This has to stop. That is, uh, then we hear talking about how corona panic testing is a shambles. Uh, anyway, I could go on with these letters to the editor as more and more and more people from uh, infectious disease uh, experts uh, just to regular people are saying we've been dealing with this bullshit for two fucking years. This is one more wolf outside of the cave door that we're going to have to learn to live with. This is all I've been saying since day one. I guess when we have our first person who actually dies of, uh, of heat stroke while waiting to get a corona panic test, we can start uh, <laughs> seeing where the real uh, panic should be right now. But anyway, I can see I have put Brother Aaron to sleep. He is over snoring. Uh, I have put him to sleep. Uh, Brother Aaron, who is vaccinated, uh, has zero interest in the subject. He is not going to be a fan of the Corona Panic Roundup. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. And for the few of you uh, who care, and as I say, I am heading off deep into the oasis of freedom to get out there and enjoy it while I still can. And, uh, and encourage you to do the same. Get out there and enjoy your oasis of freedom while you still can. I, I really do think that uh, th th this shit it is uh, going to be on its way out, that, that people are just going to start moving on with their fucking lives. You know, think of something else to fucking talk about, Hambone. And that is the last word you will hear about Corona Panic for a week. I promise. Bye, guys.